go over that. So, yeah, these are the power equations. Let, let's look at why, yeah, let's look at why they can equal each of these things. So the reason why it could have, um, be related to those things is, remember, um, so power, the main power equation is P is equal to IV, but we also know that V equals IR. So when we plug um, V into this equation, we end up with that equation. When we solve the Ohm's law for I and make it V over R and take that and plug it into there, okay, then we get that equation. All right? So the really important thing, though, is know this equation because that's the only one on your equation sheet. Okay? Th that equation and Ohm's law, these two equations are not on your um, equation sheet. So you need to be able to come up with those from Ohm's law and from the main power equation. Okay? All right. So, um, so another thing you need to know about the power equations is power is related to the brightness of a bulb. That comes up a lot on multiple choice type questions. All right, so the brighter the bulb, the more power it's getting. Okay? All right. Um, or the more power, I guess we could say, it is um, dissipating. All right. Um, thank you, Shilpa, for doing that. Power is in watts. Yeah, W. Okay? All right, so um, here's an example I wanted to go over. Okay? Um, a new example for a more kind of complex problem. All right? So let's just walk through this problem together. Um, first thing we should do is label um, our R0. So I'm going to label this R1, um, R2, R3, R4, and R5. Oh, this is not on your... Um, this is a new one. Okay, so if you want to follow along here, you can write this out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to do, uh, what I want to do next is draw out the um, vertical version of this. Okay. So I start off up here with a um, with the fact that, well, you know what? We don't know the, the value of the um, voltage. Okay. But I do know that I start off right here with a 2 ohm resistor. So that's 2 ohms. This resistance over here on this part here is 12 ohms. Okay. Then over here I've got a 1 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor. 3 ohm, 1 ohm. And then finally I end up down here with another 1 ohm resistor. So the question is, besides filling out the VIR chart, we want to know what the power is dissipated at a 3 ohm resistor. Okay? So let's fill our um, VIR chart here. So you're, you're going to see some really important um, new little tricks that we can use in solving these. So R1, we're going to say that that's 2 ohms. R2 is 2, oh, 12. Okay. Um, 1... 3, and 1. Okay? Um, anything else that I know from the uh, original graph? Um, at R5, the I is 12. Okay, so at R5, we know that I've got 12 amps going through that. So through here, I've got 12 amps. Okay? So if I've got 12 amps going through there, uh, good. So that's that's something we could look at as well. But let's let's just talk about about right, right here at this point. So if I got twelve amps going through R five and I know the resistance is one, what else can I figure out? The voltage drop there is how much? Twelve volts. Okay, and we literally call that a twelve volt drop. Okay, so right here I can label that as being twelve volts. Okay. As Joey just pointed out, this current is going to go back to the battery up to the top here. So what current will be traveling out of my battery through this first 2 ohm resistor? 12 amps. Okay? Because that 12 amps, as it goes through the battery and um, goes into this 2 ohm resistor, it hasn't had a chance to, to split up yet. So 
I have to have 12 amps going through this 2 ohm resistor. So the voltage drop here or the height is how much? Okay, so I know I've got 24 volts there. So I can fill in what, what R is that? Is that R1? Yeah. Okay. I know at R1, I've got 24 volts. And that makes sense because earlier we said that was going to be 12 amps. Um, it, it's always a good idea on the AP test, especially on the AP test, make a VIR chart. Um, possibly, depending on what things they're looking for. So I always suggest, as soon as you see a circuit, draw a VIR charts. Because a lot of times some things will come up because of the VIR chart that you won't see just by looking at the circuit. Okay? All right. Now, if this is true, if I got a 12-volt drop here and a 24-volt drop there, what must be my drop here then? I don't know yet because I don't know the total. Right? So I don't know the total. So I've got to go... I got to go and um, figure out what my total resistance is, so that way I can figure out my total my total voltage, right? Yes. Okay. So we know that we've got twelve amps going through the battery there. Okay. All right. So let's do that then. Let's look at this middle section. Yes. So had the last uh, resistor been in parallel, would it be different? Yes, yes, okay. All right, so um, let's go and um, figure out what the total resistance is here. So in this middle section, okay, I know in the middle section, so I'm going to redraw the middle section as having a 12 ohm, and over here I got a 1 ohm and a 3 ohm, so it's really, it's really how much? It's really 4 ohms there. So the middle section looks like this. So what would I do to figure out the resistance? Let's call that the resistance of the middle section, R sub M. Okay, 1 over 1 12th plus 1 fourth. Can someone figure that out for me? I think I, I tried to try to make it something really easy. What's that? It's just 3? So the whole thing is just 3 ohms? Like that, the middle section is 3 ohms? Okay, so now if I look at the whole setup, I've got up here a 2 ohm resistor at the beginning, a 3 ohm resistor in the middle, and at the end I finish up with a 1 ohm resistor. What can we say about all these resistors? They're all in series. So the equivalent resistance is how much? Okay, the equivalent resistance is 6 ohms. Okay. So because I know I've got 6 ohms of equivalent resistance, and I know I've got 12 volts, uh, 12 amps going through it, what, was my, what must my total voltage be then? 72. 72. So I got 72 volts here. Okay. So let's go back and talk about the height of this. I'm going to use a different color here to help point this out. Okay, so the entire height, the entire voltage we just finished saying needs to be how much? 72 volts. So we know that um, this height here is 24, and this height here is 12, so this middle section must have a voltage of how much? 36. Okay, so that must be 36 volts. So here's what I can do to the middle section. I can, t I can treat the middle section as its own new circuit, all right? So I'm going to take this middle section, and I know that it's, it's a 36-volt drop on a 12-ohm, a 1-ohm, and a 3-ohm um, resistor. So I got 1-ohm, 3-ohms, and 12-ohms over here, okay? So... I um I can re I can look at this resistance as well and figure out um the current going through it okay but also I can look at this other side over here at this 12 ohm battery its voltage I'm sorry this 12 ohm resistor its voltage drop is how much there's only one thing on that side that 12 ohm this 36 Okay, because remember, each branch has to have the same voltage. 
So I've got on R12, okay, I've got a voltage of 36 volts, okay? Good, so now I can figure out the current there as being how much? Okay, I know that there's three amps going through there, okay? So how many amps is coming through this point right here? Well, no, coming through there. 12 amps are going through there. How much is going on, on this side? Okay, 3 amps. So how much must be going on this side? If, 12, if the 12 splits up and 3 goes to the 12 ohm, how much must be going through, through the 1 ohm? Okay, 9 amps has to be going that way. So I know that through my 1 ohm resistor, I have to have 9 amps. But because this 1 ohm resistor and this 3 ohm resistor are in series, what do we know about the currents? It's also got to be 9 amps. Okay, so I got 9 amps going through there as well. Okay, so now I can fill out my VIR chart. 9 times 1 gives me 9 volts there, and 9 times 3 gives me how much? 27. So that's a total on this side of how many, how many volts on this side? 36 volts. So that's the same as the 36 volts on the other side that we just finished saying. Okay? So think about using, think about using the VIR chart in conjunction with, and I just wanted to say the word conjunction, in conjunction with the uh, vertical um, circuits. Okay? The, uh, the vertical strategy that we, we use there. All right? So the final thing says, what is a power dissipated at a 3 ohm resistor? So remember, we got several equations. The one that, um, the main power equation would be that. So let's look at the 3 ohm, um, the 3 ohm setup right there. Um, the current going through that is how much? 9 amps. 9 amps with a voltage of? 27 volts. 27 volts. Can someone put that in their calculator for me? Anybody? Anybody? 9 times 27? Can someone put it quickly? 243. 243? 243. And what are the units? Watts. Watts. Okay. All right. Now, one thing that I also want to bring up is on your homework. It, your homework mentions a three-way. So this is, we've already finished this. It mentions a three, yeah, you can go. It mentions a three-way light bulb. Okay. A three-way light bulb um, basically is like this, okay? It's got a light bulb. Remember, the light bulb acts, each light bulb acts as a resistor. Um, so we could get three different settings for that. We can use, if we put a, depending on where we put switches, if I put a switch right there, okay, I can make this work for both light bulbs or just one light, or one light bulb. So... When you see that problem, realize that this is the setup for it. Okay, a three-way light bulb works with um, just the two resistors. Okay, so it can run with the two resistors in parallel or one resistor at a time.